Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to manage your hair from a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm just going to start with how to properly comb your hair. Now the best thing to do is to have it wet. Now every day I wash my hair. Um, you don't have to wash your hair every day. You can buy a little spray bottle, fill it up with water, just dampen your hair. You don't have to wash it. So make sure you do that. The next thing you'll need is a bit of conditioner. Now I'm using Herbal Essences conditioner for dry and damaged hair. Mixed race hair won't be as dry and damaged as Afro hair, but it's always a good thing to use. The next thing you'll need is a wide tooth detangling comb. Now you can get these from Boots for about £3 and they work perfectly with mixed race hair. So you'll need to put the conditioner all throughout your hair, just pushing it through, make sure it's all nicely right to the ends as well. Next thing, just get your comb and just comb it through. Now you don't want to comb it too much because you're going to create so much static. Now this might seem very simple but if you've been trying to comb your hair when it's dry and you haven't had any conditioner put into your hair then you'll probably find that it goes very very static. This way your hair will stay soft curly and it won't go all static. So that's that done. Next thing that you need to do is to style your hair. Now there are lots of different products for curly hair out there now, um, more so than they used to be. I use Twisted Sister Beauty Frizz. It's only a pound from Body Care and it works perfectly. If you can't get hold of that, there's Trevor Sorbet. Um, they do a really good range with curly hair. Um, go into boots, lots of different ones to choose from. Frizzies is also a good one, using their mousses or their sprays, working it through your hair. So, I'm going to use my Twisted Sister. You are going to need quite a lot on your hand, especially if you've got thick hair, thick long hair, you're going to need a lot of hair product to make sure it stays curly. So you'll need about the size of a 50 pence piece, you might need a couple of those, work it through your hair, I'm going to get a little bit more, work that through your hair as well. Right, now for the styling, lots of hairdressers will leave it dry and they will keep doing this you'll end up like a poodle trust me I've been there so you just need to fluff it up just a little bit and then the technique you need to do is get your hair and you just scrunch it up like this and just keep scrunching it all up this is going to define your curls but it's not going to make it all horrible and frizzy and you're not going to end up like a poodle as well scrunch it all up there Right, put my fringe gel, lift to the side, and there we go. You are ready for the day. Now, if you don't like having wet hair, um, I would recommend not to blow dry your hair, but if you absolutely must, then I would use this kind of a hair dryer. You need a diffuser, okay? Because this will not blow your hair all over the place. It's not going to have so much concentrated heat. The heat comes out of these little nozzles here. Okay, and you just pop it on your hair like there, and you just work your way around. But personally, I don't use it because it's still it's still going to make it frizzier than letting it dry naturally. Another alternative is to get your towel and you just scrunch up your curls like this with your towel. Just drying it, want to go, want to create and go with your hair naturally. Okay? And that's how you manage your hair from a day to day basis. Come on and change.